In this video, we'll be finding a limit using a table. Our problem is to use a table to find the limit as x approaches 2 of the function 5x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 4. Now this function limit can be found easily by doing direct substitution. We can put 2 in and we can see that there's no problem with division by 0. But I wanted to show you how to use a table also to find the limit. If we were to use direct substitution, we'd have 5 times 2 minus 3 over 2 times 2 plus 4. And so 10 subtract 3 is 7, and 4 plus 4, 8. So the limit should be 7 eighths. Now for a table, what we're going to do, I'll just make it a horizontal table. And this line is going to be x equals 2. And what we want to do is pick numbers that are smaller than 2 and numbers that are bigger than 2 and use those for my values of x and then calculate values of f of x, which would be the whole fraction. So um, I'm going to use 1.999 and then 1.99 and then 1.9 and then going bigger we would have 2.001 2.002 2.003 2.004 2.005 2 so we'll um, substitute these values into our function and get values for the y using our calculator, if you have a TI-84+, plus, an easy way to have the calculator do the substituting for you is to enter the function into your main screen using the x. So open parentheses, 5x minus 3, close the parentheses, divided by open parentheses, 2x plus 4. Now when I press enter, I'm going to ignore the value because there's probably a, a number stored in there for x. So I'm going to ignore that value. And then I'm going to store in 1.9. So I'm going to hit 1.9. And then the store button is right here above the on. So hit store and you'll get a little arrow showing. And then I'm storing that 1.9 into the X and press Enter. Now 1.9 is stored into that memory for X. And if I do second Enter, second Enter, I get my expression back. Now when I press Enter, I'll get the value for uh, this expression when 1.9 is substituted in for x. So I see that it's 0.833. Now I still have this expression stored in there, but this time I'm going to put 1.99. So 1.99 store x press enter, and then second enter, second enter, and press enter to get the value, and I see that it's 0 0.8709. Now let me do 1.99, 1.999, store x. And then second enter, second enter, and I have 0 0.8746. Now let's do 
door X. Second enter, second enter. And I have 0 0.8754. Do 0 0.01 store X. Second enter, second enter. 0 0.8791. And then 2.1 store X. Point nine one four six. So as x approaches 2, which is right here, I can see that my value for f of x, or my y value, is approaching 0.875. Now 7 eighths, we can calculate that. The decimal for that is 0 0.875. So uh, the limit as x approaches 2 of this function is 0 0.875.